I do. Hey everyone, welcome to Little Red Alice. So today is the last video of my February series where I do makeup looks inspired by some of my favorite female artists to listen to on Valentine's Day. If you haven't been keeping up with this series, I'm gonna leave a link to the whole playlist up here and in the description bar below. But anyway, if it wasn't super obvious, today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by Marina and the Diamonds. Specifically, Marina and the Diamonds' amazing song, How to Be a Heartbreaker. I love Marina and the Diamonds. OMG, she is like the queen. Like, I love all these female artists, but like Marina is like the queen. <laughs> I can't even pick a favorite song, honestly. I go through so many phases where I like one song and then I like another one and just, I love all of them. But How to Be a Heartbreaker definitely is like one of my top like go-tos. If you're interested in seeing me recreate her How to Be a Heartbreaker, look make sure to keep watching oh but one more thing if you're new here hi I'm little red Alice I do a lot of different videos including makeup beauty lifestyle get ready with me's morning routines fashion and a lot of makeup transformation videos if you like what you see make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on everything little red Alice related and make sure to hit that little bell next to the subscription button so you can get a notification every time I upload a video and I think that's it all right so without further ado let me show you how to be a heartbreaker so first, I'm grabbing a headband to get the hair out of my face, and then I'm grabbing this primer by Laura Mercier and applying that all over my face to prep for the makeup. Now to give my skin an even complexion, I'm grabbing my Tarte Color Correcting Palette and first using the orange shade under my eyes to cancel out any dark circles. And then I'm applying the green shade over any acne to cancel out the redness. And then just to blend everything out, I'm taking a slightly damp beauty blender and just dabbing all the areas with the color correcting product. Then I'm grabbing my Revlon Colorstay Whipped Cream Makeup and dotting that all over my face and then using the same beauty blender from before to blend that out into my skin. Now I'm taking my Revlon Colorstay Concealer and highlighting under my eyes, chin, around my mouth, nose, cupid's bow, forehead, and nose bridge. Then I'm using the same beauty blender and blending that out. To set all that, I'm taking my Smashbox Halo Hydrating Powder on a big fluffy brush and dabbing that all over my face. For brows, I'm grabbing my Benefit Browsing's Eyebrow Kit and using that to fill in my brows like usual. Next, I'm taking my Tarte Contour Palette and first taking the blush shade and applying that to the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm taking the darker contour shade, just because Marina looks a lot tanner than me in her video, and contouring all over my face to give it more structure and more color. And once I'm finished, I'm using a fluffy brush to blend all that out. I'm also contouring my nose by drawing lines with a contour shade on either side of my nose and then using a fluffy brush to blend that out. Moving on to eyes, I'm grabbing my Urban Decay Primer Potion and applying that to my eyelids to prep for eyeshadow. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette and first taking a combination of the shades Skimp and Blonde and applying that all over my lids as a base. Next, I'm taking the shade Anaheim, a matte taupe color, and applying that in my crease with a big fluffy brush. Then I'm taking the Shimmery Light Copper shade Baby and applying that to the center of my lids. Then I'm taking the dark brown matte shade Punk and applying that in the outer third into my crease. Then I'm taking the fluffy brush again and blending everything out so it isn't too harsh. Next, I'm taking the shade Sirius, a smoky gray color, and applying that on my lower lash line. And finally, I'm taking the shade Bathwater to highlight my inner corners of my eyes. Next, I'm taking my L'Oreal Liquid Liner and using that to give my eyes a nice, sharp, winged eyeliner look. Now, I'm grabbing my House of Lashes False Eyelash Collection and taking the lashes Siren and applying those to my upper lash line. <laughs> bottom lashes, I'm taking these individual falsies from the face shop and applying four to each lower lash line. I did most of this off camera because it was a lot harder than I anticipated. You need the delicate hands of a surgeon for this. <laughs> now to make my eyes appear bigger and more awake, I'm taking this white eyeliner pencil from NYX and applying that to my waterline. For mascara, I'm taking my Double Decker Lashes Mascara from Butter London and applying that to my upper lash line to fuse my real lashes and the fake ones together. Now to highlight my face, I'm taking my Trustique Highlighting Stick and applying that to the high points on my cheeks, cupid's bow, nose, and chin. Then I'm using my finger to blend that out. Because I want to give my face even more glow, I'm taking my NYX Born To Go Liquid Illuminator and applying that to the same areas and then using my Beauty Blender to blend that in. 
Moving on to lips, I'm taking this lip liner from the face shop and first outlining my lips and then filling them in. For lipstick, I'm grabbing the shade Float from Lipstick Queen, which is a sheer shimmery nude color, and applying that over my lips. Finally, to complete this merino look, I'm grabbing black gel eyeliner and drawing her signature heart on the high point of my left cheek. And now, to set everything, I'm using the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray all over my face. And now, I'm taking off my white tank top and putting on a black one. And for hair, I'm gathering my bangs and a few pieces at the crown of my head and pulling them into a thin but tight ponytail at the top of my head. And now, I'm taking some pink ribbon and tying that around my head in a bow. And you're done! do. So I hope you guys enjoy the look. In the comments below, tell me what your favorite Marina song is. Or if you're like me and you just don't have one because there's too many good ones, let me know what your top like five are, if you can narrow it down. <laughs> and yeah, if you liked what you saw, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on everything Little Red Alice related. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get a notification every time I upload a video. And I will see you all in the next video. See you all later. Love you. <laughs> this is